All right, with me now, the man who could walk away with the biggest cash and the biggest prize of all the states up for grabs on this Super Tuesday. I'm talking about Texas. I'm talking to it's uh, uh, the Texas Senator Ted Cruz. Good to have you, Senator. How are you doing? Uh, Neil, I'm doing terrific. It's great to be with you. Same here. Um, a must win for you today? I'm sorry? A must win for you today? Well, look, Texas is undoubtedly very, very important. It is the crown jewel of Super Tuesday. And, and, and I'm very encouraged where we are. We have tremendous support here. The polling shows us with a significant lead. Uh, and I believe we're going to have a very good night. We're going to have a very good night here in Texas. And all across the Super Tuesday states, we're running neck and neck with Donald Trump. And, and at this point, it is all about turnout. Uh, it, it, voters have a, a clear choice. If you want a Washington deal maker, someone to go to Washington, cut deals with the Democrats, grow government, give away our constitutional rights, then you've got several choices in this field. But if you want a proven, consistent conservative, someone who has honored the commitments he's made to the voters, someone who you know exactly what he'll do, then you've got a clear choice as well. And, and I'm very encouraged that we're seeing conservatives uniting behind our campaign because they want a Republican candidate who they can trust and who can and will beat Hillary Clinton. All right, but in Texas, you have this threshold, this 20% threshold that could deny, yeah. for example, Marco Rubio getting any delegates in your state, but yeah. in so doing, give uh, Donald Trump more delegates than he otherwise would have in your state in that kind of scenario. Um, so what do you think of that? Well, listen, what I think is likely to come out at the end of the night is that Donald Trump is going to have a whole bunch of delegates, and I'm going to have a whole bunch of delegates, and I think everyone else is going to be way, way down. And, you know, Neil, nationwide, about 65 percent of Republicans recognize that Donald is not the best candidate to go head to head with Hillary Clinton, that Donald in all likelihood loses to Hillary Clinton. Just just today, CNN put out a new poll showing Hillary not just beating Donald, but beating him badly. I mean, just walloping him. The same CNN poll shows me beating Hillary Clinton. And, and, and I want to take a minute to speak to your viewers. If you're one of the 65 percent of Republicans that recognize that Donald is not the best candidate against Hillary, then I ask you to stand with us because it is indisputably clear that the only campaign that has beaten Donald Trump and that can beat Donald Trump is our campaign. We beat him resoundingly in the state of Iowa tonight on Super Tuesday. I think we're likely to win my home state of Texas. And we're running neck and neck in the Super Tuesday states all across this country. And if you want to stop Donald Trump, Maybe you're thinking of another candidate. Listen, there are good people in this race who I like and respect. They're honorable people. But no other candidate is in a position today to beat Donald Trump other than us. So if you want to stop Donald Trump, I ask you to stand with us, stand united, and get behind a candidate that we know will defend the Constitution, well, just, def just, defend the Bill of that's Rights. That's just what another candidate, Marco Rubio, has been saying. And a lot of people look at him and the cash of delegates available tonight that he would finish second to Donald Trump, but in either case, Donald Trump would widen his delegate lead over both you guys. So, well, well, but so let's, people let's have be to very quit, clear. right? Do they have yeah. to quit? Yeah. But, but, but let's be very clear. Listen, Marco Rubio is, is a good man. I, I disagree with him on immigration. I think right. it was wrong when he joined with Barack Obama and pushing for amnesty. But, but he's a good man. I, I like Marco. But Marco in the first four states has not won a state. And tonight, in all likelihood, Marco is not going to win a single state anywhere on Super Tuesday. Texas, my home state, the polling shows we're leading by double digits. Marco, his home state, Florida, he is down by 20 points in Florida. In all likelihood, Marco's not going to win his state. And if you cannot win a state anywhere, you're not going to be the nominee. You're not going to beat Donald Trump. Marco is not in a position to beat Donald Trump. If you look state by state by state, the polling, Donald and I are neck and neck, and so a vote for anybody else is effectively well, a vote just for what Donald he says. Trump. And, you because know, he's I'm hoping the only... he might surprise people in Minnesota. Right? We don't know. No, 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 you know, no results are in. I do want to step back because you've been well, very actually, critical. To be, cl to be, cl to be clear, Neil, to, to, to be clear, Neil, we, we do know the first four states. You know, historically, no one has ever won the nomination without winning one of the first three states, and only two of us have done that: me and Donald Trump. And, and yeah, but I, am I think the only it's fair to say as well, Senator, that Trump. all bets are off in this year where we have a phenomenon like a Donald Trump. But having said that, 